How's it going everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different than I've done in the past and that is using a 3D printer to dry the filament. So there's a ton of videos going around about how to dry your filament and I've personally made a ton of videos about how to dry, how to dry your filament using filament dryers but uh, Bamboo Lab has a pretty cool feature built into the X1C and their enclosed models that allow you to dry the filament directly in the machine. So. I haven't really done that before, so I thought I might as well give it a try. So, only thing we're gonna need is some filament that we need to dry. I'm just gonna use like this little test roll here. It's about empty. Uh, actually, this one has a little more. Let's use it. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom a little closer to the X1C so you can see what it looks like. So, what we're on now is the home screen. What we wanna do is tap down here in the bottom corner, and what you're gonna see is that's gonna show all the filaments that are in your AMS if you have an AMS attached. But what we're gonna do is click the utilities button and then you'll see a button here that says dry filament. So that says control the humidity of the filament to improve print quality. And that's what we wanna do. So we're gonna tap that and we select the filament type. So we're gonna be drying PLA today. So I'm gonna do PLA, PLACF. And it says it's going to take about 12 hours or you can go through, lower this. Let's say we wanna do one hour and it's automatically going to set the temperature to what it thinks it should be, which is 70 degrees Celsius. So we'll go ahead and click prepare. You can see me, but <laughs> basically the, the bed's going to move here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this open and it's gonna raise up to a certain level. And then we're just going to place our filament on the inside once it gives us the prompt on the screen. So it's gonna finish doing its homing here and then go down to probably the bottom or near the bottom. All right, so now that it's at the bottom, we're gonna hit confirm. And then we are going to place our filament here that I've got inside and I'm gonna click start. And you can see it says it's going to be drying for the next hour. So let me zoom out here so you can see what this looks like. So now that I have it set in here and I've pressed start, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. And now it's a waiting game. We'll check back in about an hour. One hour later. So it's officially been an hour and we have the complete drying uh, little notification here. So we'll hit confirm and we'll take it out. I'm not sure that this is the best way to dry your filament, but it is something that's kind of nice being built into uh, you know, a machine you already have. So if you were not in the market to go out and buy a new filament dryer, or you know, you wanted to save some money for a little bit of time and just see how this works out, you know, it's a good option. The only reason I don't think that this may be quite as effective as a filament dryer is most filament dryers are very small. They fit at most two rolls. And so you have like a very condensed, matter of fact, let me show you. Like you, you have like this much space. <laughs> like this is just enough for the filament itself to go in. So, you know, by the time you take a filament dryer and you put this in, like, this is what's going to circulate the air versus, you know, your printer, which is going to circulate the air through the entire thing. And it's really just heating this chamber and just keeping it warm on one side where this is, this one and the majority of other ones out there actually circulate the heat. The heat's actually through the whole thing instead of just coming from one side. So in that case, you're not gonna worry about your filament actually uh, being like, really dry on one side and not on the other. It should be very consistent all the way through the roll. But to know if you need to dry stuff in a pinch, you've got an option here with the Bamboo Lab X1C and other enclosed printers by Bamboo Lab. If you guys are interested in the maker space, or shall I say the tools that you use for, for making things, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We'll see you next time.